Well, this is the first time that I've uh, taken off my s s Super E Shorty carburetor off my Harley. First thing I did when I uh, took off the main backing plate is that uh, I prefer to use a red pointer. This, uh, this guy right here, this gasket was not on. Um, I've been having some problems with uh, a little bit of hesitation below 3000 uh, RPMs. Uh, the uh, tech instructions at SNS uh, carburetors say that if that happens, then usually um, one culprit could be a uh, intermediate jet, or in the old days we called it a pilot jet, uh, which is in here. Uh, was uh, needs to be adjusted and for my case <clears throat> it's possible that that means that the intermediate jet that's uh, that's right underneath there is um, is going to be uh, too small but I don't know because I haven't cracked it open yet the first thing I did when I got it off is um, I, I looked it over there's a couple of things that I'm, I'm going to replace the whole thing on a master rebuild I'm going to replace I'm going to replace this and all these here in these springs. The springs are the tricky part, I think, in this. <clears throat> the, um, the springs are the tricky part. So you have a spring on this side that hits this plate right here, and then there has to be another part for the spring to anchor to, so when you open up the throttle, it snaps back. And that spring is very hard to see, but it's located right in, right in there. The other spring on the other side here, where the, um, for the acceleration pump, is uh, located here on top right there and then it wraps to right where the heck is it right here so you have one here right here and one there right there acceleration pump screw air fuel mixture screw and then you can hardly see it but the idle screw is right there and that's where the other spring is is right next to this screw down on the down on the plate this whole thing is going to have to be dropped into a chem bath um, like in the old days, in the old school days, the um, this whole thing here was dirty, extremely. As a matter of fact, if you look at the the spacer I pulled off it, um, the manifold Super E insulator, this thing here, you can see, was not doesn't look like anyway it doesn't look like it had a good seal on it this could have been causing some of my hesitation I've got an air leak coming in here because there was no filter or no uh, no gasket and the filter wasn't doing its job uh, which is troubling in and of itself though my plugs look pretty good I have to say um, and then you got on this side here probably an air leak coming in um, I don't know if this thing has ever been over overhauled um, from the from the looks of it probably not it's gonna be interesting to find out to me what the uh, main jet looks like and what the pilot jet looks like when I crack it open and uh, I'll show you that uh, next uh, in the next video segment okay well I just uh, cracked the bowl from the, uh, from the body and um, you can see here it's it's pretty clean. The reason why it's so clean is because uh, there was a great shop in town who um, told me one day when I took it in for a different issue. Um, I had my primary, I had a primary leak, 
which has since been fixed. And uh, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, they, he said he cleaned it. And boy, dang, did he ever. I mean, this sucker looks really good. Look how nice that looks. There, I'm still gonna drop it into the bath. But um, there's, uh, there's two things here. There's the, uh, there's the intermediate jet which uh, goes, I don't know if you can see it right here, right there. The intermediate jet goes in right here. And then in the emulsion tube here, this is where the main jet goes. Now I think I found another part of the problem with the intermediate um, uh, stuttering or uh, um, jerkiness at low RPM. The the uh, pilot the intermediate jet here when I pulled it off is really lean it's uh, it's not even close to what uh, most of them are recommended for the size engine I have this is 265 0.265 um, they recommend a 0.295 which I've just ordered the main jet is interesting as well um, it's supposed to be 0.72 and uh, this one is a point, um, it's a point seven four. And also, uh, it was kind of burred up a bit here on the end. So I'm gonna clean that up anyway. Um, drop these two things in the chem, in the chem, uh, chem pail when it gets here and, uh, and just keep them in case I need them. But this is gonna be changed out right here, the main jet to a point seven two and then the intermediate jet or the pilot jet is going to be um, up two sizes to 0.295. This one alone would probably cause the stuttering um, at uh, for my fitment right now. I, I bet you uh, they did that because they probably wanted higher performance on the high end, and so when this was lean, it would kick in the main jet sooner. Um, especially at higher RPM. So at higher RPM, it would be, it, it would it would kick in and more fuel, more power. So I'm gonna, since I'm doing more street riding than I am trying to impress anybody on um, a drag strip, let's say, I'm gonna put this one up to 295, bring this one down to 0.72. If it, uh, if if this part here needs to go up, at least I have a 0.774 uh, on hand after I clean it up. But um, this thing was pretty burnt up actually when I when I took it off uh, right here on the end. I'll probably take a little bit of sandpaper and rub it rub down the burr. But otherwise, it's a pretty it's still a pretty um, good jet to use. And this one, of course, was in really good really good shape. So uh, clean because of performance performance cycles. It's too bad they went out of business. They were a great little outfit and uh, did great work on my bike when I needed them to. Uh, next thing to do here, though, is uh, I have the, I took this off, but I put it back in because I want to measure the float level. And as you can see here, the float level here. And this is supposed to be between the top of this and the float, about an eighth of an inch uh, or so. And so I'm gonna be um, measuring that here in a little bit with one of these right here. And you can see here that the bottom pulls out. It's just enough lip for me to tell um, on this side if I'm down an eighth of an inch or not. It doesn't look like to me, just by pressing on it, that the float needs to be changed at all. I'll keep the float, of course, in this, in this fitment uh, when I rebuild it. Um, one other thing to note is make sure you always have this little there's a little blue o-ring right here. That sucker's gotta go back on when this goes in. This part here is pressed into the body here, and then in the bottom here is where you have your uh, little acceleration pump diaphragm. And so we'll check that out next.